She is known around the world for her breakout role on the hit HBO series Game of Thrones. Y'all remember it as the trusted advisor Michonne Day and as the clever hacker Ramsey in the popular Fast and Furious franchise. Now Natalie Emanuel stars in The Invitation. Cool. It's a thriller about a young woman who is invited to a lavish wedding in England by a long lost cousin. But she soon discovers the real sinister reason everyone is so eager to meet her. Oh my gosh. And the fact that you went to that wedding? I, I know. I know. It's like red flags from and the And also, beginning. I just decided no more DNA test, uh, right? I know. I mean, actually, I think they're quite fun and interesting. Yeah. Um, but this is like the one? worst case scenario. I actually haven't, but people in my family have. And yeah. we've found out some really cool, interesting things. So, yeah. you know, maybe just don't meet a stranger off the internet and go to a country alone <laughs> to meet them. I don't know. Don't you love, I mean, and this is like the typical kind of summer thriller where you're like, wait, why are you doing that? Like, even as the star of it, were you saying, don't, don't, no, do not don't go, go to the dinner door. party. Yeah. Take off the mask. Well, yes. I mean, Courtney Taylor, who plays my bestie on the show, um, in the movie, um, we were joking about how the movie would be over when th the guy asked to meet up and we'd be like, <laughs> Nope, just like shut the laptop and like maybe go to a bar or something. Oh, 100%. That would be the end of it. Um, You're looking gorgeous. Thank you so We much. saw on, on Instagram you cut your hair. Yes. And you're looking beautiful. Here's this. This is, this is, the, this is it oh happening. This is it happening. First of all, how did you convince yourself to even do this? I, I stopped um, trying to convince myself not to do it, actually. Oh. Wow. So... Because a lot of times a woman's yeah. hair uh, is so important, especially as a woman of color. Your hair is your crown. What has your crown become now that it's short and beautiful and, and just freeing? Um, I, I, yeah, just all of those things. I think that my hair was such a statement of, like, celebration, and I loved my hair and defiance against, you know, certain standards of beauty and what have you, and... And I really just felt like I was ready. I'd been saying it a really long time. And actually, my hairstylist was like, um, when are we doing this? You've been talking about it since I've known you. And I was like, oh, yeah, there's no, there's there's no, no more reason not to. to do it. And so I was like, let's, let's go, let's do it. And, so, and it was so um, liberating. And um, while the hair was like such a cool, powerful moment, I realized that that was all just there anyway, and yeah. I didn't need it anymore. Oh and it was lovely to kind of shed it. And, you know, it's hair, it grows back, and we have wigs. I can do lots of things. It's really not as um, a big deal as I think I was previously kind of led to believe. We have to talk about Game of Thrones. Oh. It was, you know, it's like one of those shows that goes down as part of the fabric of our culture. It's not just a television show. What did it feel like to be part of it? And what did you steal on the last day? Do you know what? I didn't. I was so, such a goody two-shoes about it. And then I found out afterwards that everyone had all this stuff. Other people stuff. stole things? Yeah, and I was like, <gasps> I wanted one of my rings. There was a necklace that I wanted. And I was like, why? I just didn't take it. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's because you're a good human being. No, well, you shouldn't you, have been. I also knew as well, like, like, a lot of the costumes go on these Auction. big, like, exhibitions. Yeah. And I was like, imagine if I took something and then they were like, where's the necklace? Where's the ring? And I'd, it, I'd have felt really bad. I don't know if I'd have had to come clean about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> the Brits, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Hollywood, if you get one franchise... You've made it. This woman has been in Game of Thrones, yes. which is now a franchise. Yes. And she's returning for Fast 10. Filming is about to, cut, about to finish. And oh, I, I've, I've finished, but they're finishing up, I think, really soon. So. so what's the wildest thing you do or you can't tell us? Well, obviously, I, I have to keep quite um, tight-lipped about it. But um, Come I on, anything wild? Oh, well, this, it's Fast and Furious. It's always <laughs> wild. It's always a spectacle. So much action, so much, like, excitement and... It's, it's a really kind of huge adventure as we've come to love for those films. Um, but I think from just what I can say, I think the stakes for the characters personally are much higher Ooh, cool. um, this time, as well as the sort of ad adventure or mission that they're, they're on. So. Well, Natalie, we love watching your star rise. Oh. It's so fun. And this is like the type of thriller that everybody wants to turn the lights off yes. and watch in the summer. So it's, thank you. It's you really to fun to watch all together. It's like really um, fun. We had a screening last night and everyone was just, just feeling the energy and watching everyone like laugh and be scared and mm. 
It was just great fun. So, yeah, it's a good one to watch with the pals. Well, congratulations on everything. And the invitation hits theaters Friday, August 26th.